brakes a little bit. Yeah. Also, light brakes. Yeah, yeah. When you put on the gas. Yeah, yeah. I could, I could feel that. There's times where I start vibrating hard. Okay. Um. When is the last time you guys replaced the fuel filter? Fuel filter. Yeah. Honestly, uh, like I asked my dad. This yeah, we'll have to ask him. That's your dad, right? Yeah, yeah. He's the one who saw your videos and stuff. Okay, cool. It feels to me that uh, the fuel filter is really bad. Like, it's clogged. It's hard to get any fuel as well. But it's got many different problems. Yeah. So we'll have to just, you know, play it by ear, test, test everything. Um, but it does feel like this jerking... Like it's not getting fuel, and then it finally gets some, so it kind of catches on like that. So the van does have very slow acceleration, so it's only stuck at 3,000 RPMs. Let's do an acceleration test. This is me going at a very fast speed, pressing the gas pedal all the way down. So barely accelerating, this is pretty much how it is and it just gets a little bit worse as you're driving. So now we're gonna delete the codes and see if it improves. It does have uh, slight little jerks, which almost feel, feels mechanical, but it can be just the fact that it's lacking in fuel. I'm gonna park it and I'm going to take a look at the codes. So here's the codes that we're having. So we're having a cylinder 2 glow plug circuit open, which is okay. Cylinder 1 glow plug open. Cylinder 3 glow plug open. Exhaust gas circulation, temperature, A sensor, range performance. Um, Due to these codes, uh, actually EGR was not plugged in. I actually plugged it in, so we'll see if some of these uh, EGR codes will disappear. But this is an EGR code. Uh, these are particular filter uh, differential pressure sensors, circuit range performance. Uh, there is no uh, PDF in this van. It's been removed. I just got a straight pipe. Uh, 2008 vehicle. Uh, let's see, catalyst, catalyst temperature sensor circuit bank uh, one sensor one so again um, these are particular filter ash accumulation so cylinder two glow plug circuit open so the one glow plug open so the three exhaust gas recirculation which is a jar and then we have temperature circuit okay these are particular filters so let's go ahead and actually erase these codes and see what comes back. So let's see. Now we have 14 codes. Interesting. Never seen that before. Okay, let's see. same thing so let's do them again so let's read the codes again okay so now we have Two particular filter codes. So I'm thinking that these sensors are not even plugged in. Uh, this type of mechanic that did the work, he unplugged the EGR for some reason. There's a good chance he unplugged uh, some of these uh, sensors. So, anyways. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that. So let's start the van back. It has a very 
shaky type of uh, vibrations. As you start it up, it feels like it's lacking in fuel, and this is why it's shaking. So I'm gonna press and drive. Well, actually, before we actually go anywhere, let's see if actually we could accelerate beyond 3,000 RPMs. We cannot. Okay, that is not good. But let's see what's gonna happen once we're gonna start driving. I can't really go that fast here uh, because we do have this lake but it feels a lot smoother acceleration as I'm trying to actually accelerate this van right now for some reason, even though it's 3000 RPM. So it's a slight hill here. So let's see how it does up this hill. And this van is very lowered. So pressing the gas pedal all the way down. So this is what I'm getting to, just a very slow climb. It's getting easier up to 20, 20 miles an hour and then I have to slow back down. Okay, on this little short trip, let's go ahead and park it and check the codes so again. We are getting diesel particle filter code and catalyst temperature and diesel particle filter ash accumulation. Wondering why I'm still getting these type of codes if that system been removed. Now, I, I haven't looked at the bottom myself yet, but this is what I was told. I was told that it was removed. But I'm beginning to wonder if it has been removed. Maybe somebody just unplugged it, that's all. But let's see, we're gonna go ahead and erase the codes. And we're gonna go ahead and go on a drive. First I wanna see what comes back same three codes basically even though I cannot confirm that we'll have to get on the highway to find out for sure okay now we're gonna go on the highway and accelerate so up to 20 it's a, it feels a little slow so up to 30 still feels a little bit slow up to 40 still feels slow uh, we're getting some rumbling sounds which can be um, the drive shaft, but it feels to me like it's an old fuel filter, which would also cause this drivability type of issue. So we're going 55. I do believe it's accelerating slightly faster than before. Uh, however, this is still not normal. This is not how it should be accelerating. It's just the fact that we have EGR plugged in, so things might be working just a little bit better. So the whole entire time I've been pressing the gas pedal all the way down and this is the results. I could hardly get the van go 55 so we're very close to 60 and that's really all I'm getting. Um, I do feel slight hesitations in the gas pedal as I'm pressing down. I feel kind of like, like it's kicking back a little bit because I'm giving a uh, full throttle and it cannot get all the fuel that it needs. That's what it feels like to me. All right, so now we have a downhill. Let's see if it could accelerate above 60. So it's going uh, all the way to 70. So that is good. It's just very slow acceleration. And then it's going back. Like the whole entire time, I'm just pressing the gas pedal all the way down. So it seems like it's just lack of power. 
so when we shut the van down we're gonna see what kind of codes come back <clears throat> but at this time I'm very curious to know for sure is the particle filter still in that place uh, or is it a straight pipe which I'm gonna have to take a look and definitely need to take a look at the fuel filter uh, the HR code was present as well I'm not sure if it was due to the fact that it was unplugged or it's also bad uh, but it also could be dirty so if it's dirty it's also gonna have these type of issues so after a three mile drive uh, we're back so I shut the van down three times and started back up and I'm still getting the same codes so we're not getting any more codes than this so all of these codes I have to do with um, exhaust particulate filter so I'm gonna see if I could go ahead and just delete them they're not gonna delete but I'm gonna do it anyways I do believe they're unplugged uh, they shouldn't be coming back this quick obviously when there's a problem codes will come back really quickly so let's see if we could just delete them with the vehicle being off so let's see what happens here so we have just two and that's it so I'm underneath the van I could definitely see that there is no particulate filter here there is like this little plug here here's the old fuel line and basically the pipe goes all the way out so that's what I'm seeing looks like he used the parts from the previous particulate filter that way all the fuel lines and stuff it's still connected I do not see the sensors. Okay, that is that. Okay, observing at the bottom, the transmission pan is soaked with oil. It's kind of hard to tell what oil, but obviously it's clear, it's not black. So there's a good chance this is just transmission fluid. So there's a good possibility it's leaking. You could also see there's some overspray on these type of things right here. So the fuel fill fuel pump does seem to be working. Seems like it's on. Okay, turn it off. Okay, so fuel pump seems to be working. So I'm right next to the fuel tank. Right here. So the computer still thinks that diesel particulate filter, the soot content of the particulate filter is too high. And uh, catalytic converter temperature sensor, the signal is too high. Uh, all that means is that sensor is unplugged. And this means that when they remove the filter, it was clogged. <laughs> and it still thinks it's clogged. So this might be causing an issue electronically with the turbo. I tried deleting this code two times. It goes through the process. The codes do not delete either one of these codes. It's just, it's impossible to delete them at this point. So guys, here's probably what's causing this drivability issue. I've never seen this before. So this is gonna be a theory uh, or whatever. So this is a transmission code here. Uh, Torque converter lockup clutch. So torque converter lockup clutch. The component has an excessive power consumption. So the van is slightly underpowered and there is light jerks. So there's definitely a possibility that the torque converter is locked up and it needs to be replaced. And maybe this is why it's not accelerating because the transmission is throwing a code for this issue. So obviously, it's going to be in limp mode. So this is definitely something to be looked at. That's the compression, and it appears that uh, cylinder number six has bad compression. And this is what it looks like for number one and two. On well, number one, four, two, 
five. I performed the test again. It appears that cylinder six is now, it has good compression now. But previous test, uh, the number one test uh, showed that everything was good. Number two, cylinder six had bad compression and test number three shows good compression in all cylinders. I just tested the uh, throttle valve actuator and uh, when it's opening and closing, the results are right here. So when it's a 10% open, obviously there's gonna be a little bit more pressure. So there's a slightly more bar. When it's open at 90%, uh, it's 933 bar. So there's a difference of 336 bar. I mean, what this is telling me that, hey, it is opening and it is closing. So at least that is good.